Hi, so we're going to do a, um, a little mat series with some variations from the traditional. So just get a little movement through the spine first, do some pelvic tilts. So inhale to get ready and then exhale to do a little scoop under and then lengthen back. I'm wearing my slop clothes today, so I'll try and be as clear as I can. Continue that to roll up to a bridge. So scoop in all the way up, reaching the knees forward. Sorry, get all this out of the way, and then roll down. Scoop in. And again, scoop head under. Knees really reaching forward. Feel the top of your head reaching away from the rest of you. And back down. Feel a nice length through the back. Exhale, scoop first, rolling up. Inhale at the top and hollowing in the chest. Really let the throat and the chest relax on the way down. One more. Inhale at the top and out. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, go into your pelvic tilt again. Inhale, lift the right leg to tabletop. Exhale, left. Lower the right. Left and then lengthen back to neutral and scoop it all in. Lift the left and then the right. Squeeze your heels tightly. Now curl your head and shoulders up and extend the legs away if you wish. The height of your legs is up to you. Start the pulse for the home through. Sniff and blow. Two and blow. Keeping nice and wide across the collar, then scooped in. And really feel the very top of your upper arms working. Out. In. And out. In. And up. And up. Eight. Two. Last one. into your chest for a moment. Lower them down, straighten the legs away, reaching your arms up and back. And just for a minute, straighten out the arm and the leg like you're climbing something, just to get a little stretch. And then bring the legs together, lift the arms up, not the chin, feel the chest draw, and then scoop all the way over, pulling the belly way back, and then roll down. And as you get to the bottom, make sure you're back in all those natural curves of the spine each time. And back. So all the way back to the natural curves. And back. Two more. down, reach your arms up to the ceiling, take the right leg up into the air and feel your shoulder blades and your hips creating like a rectangle on the mat that's not going to shift. Circle round and up, two, pelvis steady, really feel the leg moving around in the socket so the movement's coming from the joint itself, not from your foot, two, three, so what's happening in the socket is sort of being enlarged at the end. Hug that knee in, stretch to the other side, find that rectangle on the ground, and circle round and up. Two, three, make sure your underneath leg is nice and long on the ground, and the other way. Twice more. Hug that one in, straighten both legs out, long, not in curve up, roll to sit and place the hands behind the head, armpits forward and up, lifting tall, if you want you can bend your knees here or hug the legs apart, twist and pulse for three, other way, shoulder blades 
it's dropping down the back, arms lifting up in front. Once more each way. And again. And then bending in the knees for rolling like a ball. So you're off of your sitting bones, scooped out middle, trying not to over hunch your shoulders, right? Now, rolling back to the shoulder blades, inhale back, exhale up, try and catch it. Back and up and catch. One more like this. Now, take your arms away from your legs like you're creating a circle around them and try and keep that tight shape. Hold it there. Now take a hold of your right shin. You're gonna roll back, straightening your left leg out. Now pulling the right leg in as you come back up. And then the other side. Roll away. Pulling up, roll away, pulling up, and away, scoop it up, one more each side, bring the feet flat, and roll all the way down, hands behind your head again, pelvic tilt, lift the legs to tabletop, Curl the head and shoulders up. Now you're gonna twist towards your right knee, straightening your left leg. Come to center and lift your left leg up. Twist to the right again as you lower down. Come back to center. Exhale, inhale. Same way, exhale, inhale. Let's just stretch out the front of the hips a little bit with the shoulder bridge. So press up in one piece, so one long line. Shoulders anchored back. Take your right leg up into the air. So really push your left heel into the floor as you do that so the right hip doesn't drop. Flex your foot and lower. Point to kick it up. Really feel the head reaching away from the rest of you. Hold it. Foot down and heel down, toes up. Heel, toe, heel, toe, foot, and reach, two, three, down and up. So both hips straight to the ceiling, three, Last one. Foot down and hold it there. Reach both arms back over your head like they're reaching back. And then roll the spine away from it. So you get a little extra stretch through the ribs. And bring that down. I'm gonna just move up a bit so I don't kick anything. So legs back up. Extend the weight again. Lift them up and overhead. And if you can, tap the toes to the floor. Lift them up and open them back shoulder width. And roll down, pulling together at the bottom. Up and over. Touch and up. Roll down. And together. And out. And down. Nice long neck. Now reverse. Open as you go over. Tap, bring it together. Nice long stretch through the back. And reach, collarbones wide and away. One more. And, and fold the legs in and come onto your side. So support your head with the bottom arm, reach the other one in front. Make sure you have a nice long waist here. Lift the arm up and then stretch up. And away. So think right from the lower back, you're getting a spiral that goes all the way out through the crown of your head. 
two more of these. Switching to the other side. Arm reaching out, lift up. And back. Inhale up and exhale as you stretch. And back. And again, keep that long, long waist. And back. Last one, up and out. Come face down now. You're going to feel like you're in a diagonal line here. So you're not arching, you're really lifted. Hands are under your shoulders and then feet just hip width apart. You're going to bend your right knee and kick it towards your bum with a pointed foot and then a flexed foot and put it down. Making sure you don't collapse as you do the kick. So you should feel a stretch through the front of the thigh and work in the back of the Face level, legs together or a little apart if that bothers your back. Keep the abdominals really pulled in under you. Press the arms forward as you breathe out. Then, like you're doing a giant breast stroke, lengthen, reach for your feet as your chest reaches forward. Bend the elbows. Giant breast stroke. Exhale. In. Exhale. Inhale, two more, and again, and then rest down, sit back on your feet, and just take a little stretch for that lower back, and then come out, bringing your legs into a V, just about, just a little wider than your mat, doesn't have to be huge. Arms out with the palms forward and make sure you're sitting right up on your sitting bones. Twist to the side and then reach across. So little finger to little toe, thumb points to the ground here. Belly button pulls in the opposite direction. Up and square. Twist, reach, feel this hip down and the belly back. And up. Twist. One more each way, and up, and up, good. Now, come a little further forward. So you can do this with your knees bent if you want, or if you have the hamstring length, you can straighten your legs up. So holding onto your uh, ankles, or wherever you can reach, roll back, and up, <laughs> roll back. So if you feel that wobble, you can just bend your knees to kind of shorten the lever there. Now, keep your legs up, reach your arms up and try three without holding. Let's see if you can find that balance. Oh, I've got shaky feet. Ooh. One more. Now bring the legs together and lie down, lowering the legs. Now come back up, lifting legs. Rolling down. Scoop the legs into the sockets. And down. One more. Into the sockets. And down. And then flip over just to bend back the other way. So legs apart this time. Hands but sort of face level. Start by just pushing the chest forward and up. And then keep going. Feel like it's really circular. And then come back. Forward and up, and then down, and forward and up, and down. Whole spine moving, right? Not just in that one spot in the lower back. From there, make your way onto your side, and we'll do a little couple of side kicks. So you're going to be up on your elbow here, so again, you're not sinking. 
Have your feet angled a little forward to the front corner of your mat. Other hand behind your head and lift the leg. Kicking forward, two pulses. Kick, kick. Reach it away. Kick, kick. Sniff, sniff. Then blow. away from your tail. Now bring the legs together, arm down with your head resting, other hand on your thigh. And then you lift up head and legs and back down. Feel like both ends are pulling so far away from each other, nowhere to go but up. Right, so head and feet to the walls and then up. From there, come up, have your, my left foot, but your back foot in front of the bent knee here. Arm out long, and this one in line with your hip, but, um, and fairly far away from you, but not behind you, right? It needs to be slightly ahead of the shoulder. And then you're gonna press away from your feet, send your hips up as high into the air as you can, so you get a stretch on that top side, and then we'll down. And again, up, big stretch, and back. Once more, reach, and then back. And then swing that over to the other side. So, up on this elbow, not collapsed, feet angled forward, hand behind the head, lifting up, and then kick, kick. making sure the waist stays long and the hips are stacked one over the other, not rocking around. And rest that down. Long arm here, hand to the leg. Exhale as you press up. And down. And down. I think we'll reach the bottom leg just as far as the top one. And again. Coming up to sit. Back foot in front of the bottom foot. Arm out long. And then pushing into your feet. Push away from them to stretch sideways. And all the way back. And again, up and over, and then back. And again, over, hips to the ceiling, and back. And then come face down. Knees bent with the legs together. Pull them into your bum as close as you can with your hips down. Now press your feet into your hands, open the knees and chest. Go up as far as you'd like, get a stretch through the chest, and then down. And again, move up and open, and down. One more. And from there, sit back on your feet. And then we'll do a little push up sequence. So, legs out long behind you. Pushing down in three, two, one. Keep lifting the middle. Sorry, I know this outfit does not suggest that. Now from there, push back. So your heels come down, like you're doing a downward dog in yoga, similar. Step your right leg outside of your right hand. Back knee comes down, right hand to knee, and then left arm up and back. Bring that down, hands back. Keep the hips low and go straight back into your plank. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Pushing back, you have a stretch for the hamstrings. Then step forward into a big lunge. Left hand to knee, 
right arm up and go back, feel like you're drawing a circle from your foot to your hand. Come back down again. One more round of push up. Three. Push back. This time you're going to walk your feet in as close to your hands as you can. Then bend the knees. Take hold of your elbows and the palms of your hands and just let everything drop. Allow the hands to drop. Pull the abdominals in tight. And just roll up. Keep the knees soft until you're up at the top. And lift and stack everything up. And you're all set. Let's see if this works today.